Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have seen about network protocols and all, right? We have seen the network layers. Hope you would have learned that. We have seen the OSA layer and also the TCP bar IP layers and all. Make sure you learn it, okay? And today we are going to see about DNS, okay? Domain name system. Domain name system means we all are having names, right? Likewise, when you are visiting a website also, first and all it had only the IP address. If you are having only the roll numbers and if you are not having any name, it's difficult to identify you, right? So, we prefer naming, right? Likewise, only here also in previous days, only websites had IP address. If there is only IP address, it is difficult to find that website, right? It is difficult to access that website using the IP address. So, they created domain names, okay? And um, previously, and all if you see, when we are using landline phones, we had a um, big book which had the contact names and the respective contact numbers. Likewise, like the phone book here in this websites and all they started giving a domain name and that system is known as domain name system okay this maintains all the directory of domain names and the host names or right may have a domain name or host name right and it will help us to access the website using this domain name okay it's not necessary to uh, keep this IP address in our mind. We can just remember the domain name and we can search it, right? If this Google is having a domain name of 102.3.32.64.111 means, how will we remember that? It's difficult, right? Now, it has a domain name as google.com, right? So, this is done to make our works easy, okay? Let's see the overview of DNS. Okay, DNS is domain name system. Okay, for the communication process one day, this uh, DNS came. Okay, we saw that it had sev seven layers. Application layer is one of this seven layers, right? There are many applications in this application layer. Okay, and in this uh, domain name system also. This domain name system is also one among them. In internet is based on the IP address only. It is not based on the domain names. But to make the work easier, this domain names are given to this IP address, right? To enable this uh, domain names in a network, this domain name system, this one is used, okay? Domain name to IP address mapping will be a consistent one across all the networks, okay? In which network you search, um, if you are searching one website, it will have an IP address, right? Each website will have a domain name so that it will be easy to access that particular website any from anywhere in any network, right? Wherever you are, you can just use this domain name and you can just log into that website or you can just open that website, right? This domain name system provides the domain name to the IP address mapping through the name servers okay to know more about this um, dns first you you must know what is ip address what is url right and the components of this domain name system and all right while uh, while typing a web address example now we are typing www.google.com means this domain name system translates it into a machine language machine will not understand the language which we talk right so the task which we give will be taken by the computer and it will convert it into its language right and it will process it and it will again convert it into our language and it will give the output right that is the process of this computer in the same way here in this domain name system also you are having a domain name like uh, www.google.com will give that in the website in that uh, address bar and that machine will change that domain name into its IP address right if uh, uh, if you are uh, taking www.tnschools.in you are typing that and that machine will change its this 
website this dns this domain name into the ip address that means it will be having uh, 35.173.69.207 .6 bin that is the ip address of that particular website right this domain name system will change this uh, will translate this domain name to a web address right and this ip address will lead to the correct website uh, which we are searching right that is domain name systems work okay american computer scientist paul v moka petris moka petris okay m o c k moka petris together with john postel invented the internet domain name system okay who invented this domain name system Paul V. Mogabatris together with John Postel only invented this. Okay, this John Postel was the administrator of Internet as a number authority. I-A-N-A. I-A-N-A means Internet Assigned Number Authority. Okay, until his death, he was known as the God of the Internet. Okay, they have given the uh, image of uh, John Poster and Paul V. Mokapetris in your book in page number 163. Okay, when you are reading this chapter, just go through that do you know portion also. Okay, next we are going to see about IP address. IP we saw in the last chapter itself, right? IP means internet protocol, right? IP address is internet protocol address. Okay, this is simply a address. Okay. This is an address in the network layer. This IP address means this will have the address of the of a website. Okay. This is simply the logical address in the network layer. Okay. Um, how in our home and all we will have an address, right? We will have a door number. We will have a street name, city name and we will have a pin like that. This Internet protocol address is the number of the website. Okay. This is used to identify the individual website. Okay. This will find the host system in a whole network. Okay. Due to the here we have many number of systems right in the network. There are many number of systems. So there uh, there is a need of more addresses so that it will lead to two addressing methods that is ipv4 and ipv6 okay ipv4 addressing let's see what is ipv4 addressing ipv4 addressing means it is a 32 bit unique address okay this is given to a computer system no two system can have a same ip address i said to you before one address means it will denote only one system or only one host uh, device right so this ipv4 address is a 32 bit unique address and this is given to a computer system only one system will have one ip address right if a network has n connections then n address will be there right the address space is the total number of address that can be made by that protocol. Okay, this determined uh, by the number of bits that a protocol will use. Okay, if a protocol uses n number of bits means the address space of that uh, uh, protocol will be 2 power n address. Okay, so that the number of addresses that can be formed in this um, IPv4 is, I said you this is 32 bit unique address, right? This IPv4 address is 32 bit unique address. So, this IPv4 will have 2 power 32, right? Here we have two ways to represent the IP address. First one is binary notation. Second one is dotted decimal notation, okay? Binary notation, binary means we all know. Binary means it will have only 1 and 0, right? It will have only zeros and 1s. So, in binary notation means the address uh, can be expressed as 32-bit binary value. That means 32 digits will be there in this binary value, okay? If it is dotted decimal uh, notation means this address will be in decimal format only, but it will be separated with dots okay you would have seen 
128.143.162.144 like that only ip address will be there right so binary notation means it will be in zeros and ones like that uh, in uh, decimal notations if it is given it will be given uh, in decimal number format itself and it will be separated with dots okay uh, here they have given the address for ipv4 and this is the first byte second byte third byte fourth byte each of the byte is uh, changed to decimal also binary value and the decimal value is there if it is a binary value it will be denoted by 32 digits if it is uh, denoted as dotted decimal means each value will be separated with dot okay and the next one is ipv6 address okay ipv6 address is a 128 bit unique address okay this is uh, this will be given to a computer system only this also in uh, in 128 bit address okay this is a 128 bit unique address the number of addresses that can be performed in this ipv6 is in ipv4 we saw that it is a 32 bit and the number of address that can be performed in the ipv4 is 2 power 32 so in this ipv6 it is a 128 bit unique address so the number of address will be 2 power 128 right so here in this ipv6 128 bits will be divided into 8 16 bit blocks okay this will be divided into 16 bit blocks so you will get 8 16 bit blocks and this each block will be changed to a four digit hexadecimal numbers and this will be separated by colon symbols right colon means you know two dots will be there right here they have given an example just see that you will get an idea here they have given 2001 colon 0000 colon 32313 colon DFE1 colon 0063 colon 0000 colon 0000 colon FEFB. Likewise, it has a 16-bit blocks, right? 8 16-bit blocks and each block is changed to a 4-digit hexadecimal number and it will be separated with colon, okay? Uh, we can just we know semicolon right uh, in the programming and all we use the semicolon here this is colon okay next one is uniform resource locator you all would have heard url url means it is a in uh, in all search engines you will be having a url to watch this video also you would have got a link right in that link it will have it had some http uh, colon um, slash youtube dot com uh, slash and some letters and all are there and some numbers and all would be there right that is the url right url is the address of the document on the internet okay url is made up of four parts protocols okay host name folder name and file name each part will have its own functions okay each part has its own specific functions depending on the users and depending on the additional data this uh, url uh, can be made right but the common and fundamental url will consist of these four parts first one is protocol next it will have domain name or host name next it will have the folders and then it will have the file that uh, file means this will have an extension like uh, .jpg .gif or .css or .htm like that it will have the file also at last right in this uh, diagram you can in this image you can just find it first this http is there right that is a protocol tn uh, cms.tn.gov.in this is a domain name or host name and then the folders they have given here sites default inside the site default default file press release and then it will have a file right so this is the url okay this url type uh, is that uh, this url is divided into two types absolute url and relative url absolute url means complete address of the document on the internet okay absolute url will contain 
all the information that are required to find the files in the internet okay these are uh, same as the postal address if any of the information is missing then the post will not um, receive us right if you are giving your address if you are missing any one uh, place or if you are missing one pin code means it cannot be delivered to your address right likewise this absolute url will have uh, if any of the four part is missing in this absolute url we you cannot reach the particular web page right relative url means it is a partial address of a document on the internet relative url will have only the file name or file name with the folder name or we can use this type of uh, url when the file is on the same server related to original documents right if two of you are working in uh, in a company in uh, working in a system which is connected to the same server it is not needed to give the whole url just two parts or a single part is enough if just we are giving a file name or we are giving a folder name and file name that's enough right so this is known as relative url okay if uh, the complete address is there we'll say it as absolute url if only two parts or one part is there then we'll say it as relative url okay next we'll see the components of dns okay there are three important components in this dns domain name system first one is namespace next one is name server and the third one is zone okay let's see what is namespace name server and zone in detail okay namespace means the domain name must be very unique and correct right the name should be selected from the namespace okay the namespace can be organized into two first one is flat namespace and the next one is hierarchical namespace okay flat namespace means this uh, where the name is assigned to the ip address okay they do not have any specific structure in this uh, flat namespace some meaningful names are given to ip address for accessing there is a disadvantage for this flat namespace also that is it cannot be used in large systems okay because um, they have to be accessed and controlled centrally to avoid the redundancy and ambiguity ambiguity means the quality of being open or it is in exactness okay this is uh, difficult in this flat name system to avoid this major disadvantage this hierarchical name spacing is used okay hierarchical name spacing means this is made up of several parts first part may represent the nature of the organization the second part may have the organization's name the third part may have the department's name and in if uh, the next part is having uh, the section or the part from that department's name likewise the if the hierarchical namespace is used that disadvantage which is in this flat name system is rectified right in this way the power to control the namespace can be decentralized okay next one is domain namespace domain namespace was designed to achieve this hierarchical namespace only in this uh, the names will be represented as a tree like structure with it will have a root element on the top and uh, uh, this tree can have maximum of 128 levels which in uh, where the root element will be taking from level 0 means it will have the till the level 127 right here uh, they have uh, explained through a diagram there root level root in this root if there is level 0 it will be splitted into parts right and again it will be split as split and it will have the total number of 128 levels if it is starting from 0 we will say it is the last level will be level 127 right are you clear the root element always will represent the null string or the empty string okay the next level to the root element is children of root element okay each node in this uh, tree will have a label and a domain name okay label means it is a string which can have maximum of 63 characters okay label means it can have 
up to 63 characters okay each node in that level should have different labels if one is having the same label means it will be confusing right so each node in that level should have different labels thereby it will be uh, assuring the individuality of the domain name that is what i told you before domain name means itself it will have a specific domain name if Uh, if i am jenny means if some other if i am having a website and uh, i am named as jenny right if someone else is also jenny you cannot if i have registered in the name of jenny means if someone else is coming and if they are trying to get the name jenny they can't get it right they have to change the spelling or they have to give a new name and only they can register right for that only this domain name system has the individuality of giving separate a new name or a unique name to every websites right in other words labels are the names given to domain okay domain means it is a sub tree in the domain name space a tree structure this uh, domain can be divided into some sub domains also here if you see a uh, domain name and label okay here first challenge is there that is a label and then that is a domain name right here they have given a domain name and again it will it is going to the next level and there one domain name is there and therefore that also there is a label and again likewise from root also from root if you see also it will have some sub domains right so here um you can see that each label is separated from bottom to top right domain name domain name is a sequence of labels in this domain name sequence uh, it will be separated by dot right this domain name will always be read from the leaf node to root node that means from bottom to top right so the root node always will be a null string okay all the domain name will end with a dot only okay so the, the root node will always represent a null string okay let's see the basic rules of domain names so okay, the domain name can consist of alphabets it may be a or it may be z also a to z it can have it can have a digits also 0 to 9 also we can use but it must not have any space okay it can have hyphens also hyphens cannot come in the beginning the domain name will not start with a hyphen but hyphen can be there anywhere in uh, in between okay spaces are not allowed some special symbols are also not permitted like um pers- uh, that uh, you have seen an exclamatory mark dollar symbol and symbol underscore symbol like this uh, special symbols are not permitted in this domain name okay domain name can have a minimum length of 2 and a maximum length up to 63 characters okay we have seen it already it can have 63 characters also the entire name uh, may uh, may be at most of 253 characters long okay length is 63 characters the entire name may be a uh, most of uh, 253 characters long okay this domain name are not case sensitive it may be uh, upper case that is maybe a capital letter or maybe a small letter or uh, maybe a mixing of both uh, capital letter and small letters also okay next one is generic top level domain names okay top level domain means it is a last part of the domain name generic top level domains are used for generic purpose and this is maintained by i a n a okay i a n a i have told you previously what is the full form of i a n a internet assigned numbers authority right i a n a is a internet assigned numbers authority this is a affiliated authority of i c a n n okay uh, let's continue here they have given a generic domain name table also we have uh, we all know dot com we will have used dot edu dot gov this and all we have used let's see the meaning of that okay dot com means this is a commercial organization okay edu means this will come for the educational institutions gov means we all know government mil means military groups org means non profit organization 
NET means Networking Organization, INFO means Information Service Provider, COM means Commercial Organization, EDU for Educational Institutions, GOV for Government, MIL for Military Groups, ORG for Non-Profit Organization, NET for Networking Organization, INFO for Information Service Providers, right? And now we are going to see about country top level domain names. Okay, country domain uses two character country abbreviations according to the country. Okay, for example, if you are uh, India means we we'll use google.in for India. If it is for US means they'll use google.us. Right, understood? Likewise, the country domain names only we are going to see now. Okay. For India, IN, we know. For United States, it is US, right? For France, it is FR. United Kingdom, UK. Canada, CA. Australia, AU. Sri Lanka, LK. Bangladesh, BD. China, CN. Pakistan, PK. For Japan, JP. For Singapore, SG. Right? When you see this domain name, you can just write the country names. Right? IN means we know India. US, United States. FR, France. UK, United Kingdom. CA, Canada. AU, Australia. LK, Sri Lanka. BD, Bangladesh. CN, China. PK, Pakistan. JP, Japan. SG, Singapore. Right, this uh, domain names uh, can also be written in other languages also. In English, it has a, a unique code. For Tamil language also, this uh, can be used in three top level domain names which are India, Singapore and Ilanga. Like that they have given. Uh, in Tamil also, in the same as in English, they have domain names for in Tamil also. Okay. And about the name server, name server means the information which needs to be stored in the domain name space is quite large, right? So, single system would be insufficient, right? Inefficient and insufficient to store that big amount of uh, request all over the world, right? So, this becomes a, a impossible one, right? Uh, so, in case of any failure of uh, data comes, it, they, we cannot access that. So, to find a solution for this problem, the information among many computers, the best way to do is, we will divide the entire space into many domains and subdomains. So, that this uh, DNS also will allow the domains uh, further to divide it into subdomains by this and this solution is um, good, right? If it is uh, subdivided and it is uh, given a subdomain, it will be easy to access a small area, right? This name server will store the data and provide it to the clients when it is incurred, right? When uh, when the client is asking, they will just give, right? This name server will provide the client when they ask, right? Name servers are programs that run on a physical system and store all the zone data, okay? This uh, name server is the main part of this DNS, okay. Domain name system's main part is name server, okay. This translates the domain name to IP address. This name server will have this uh, DNS database and this database will have the domain name and the IP address. Each domain name will have uh, their IP address. The IP address only they are giving the domain name for our understanding. So, this domain names and the IP address will be stored here. Okay. There is uh, a need to store um, a big number of uh, domain names for the worldwide usage. Right. So, plenty of servers are used in the hierarchical manner. Okay. This name servers uh, does the main task in searching the domain names. Okay. When you search a website now uh, using a um, local service, local name, local name server. This will ask the different name server until one of them find out your answer, right? 
you can just type any one word and it will give you so many options and it will finally lead you to the website which you need right at last it will return the ip address for that domain name your computer can be connected uh, to the web page which you request and it will be stored in your web server okay when you see this diagram you can uh, see the working structure of name server okay the different name servers there are three types of name servers first one is a root name server and the next one is primary name server or we can say it as master name server the next one is secondary name server or slave name server okay root name server means root we all know top level server okay root is in the top right so root name server is the top name server which uh, this will contain the entire dns tree and this will be maintained by icann okay there are 13 servers okay here a primary name server or master name server means this will contain a zoned resource record that means these records are updatable by domain name holders like organization or some a particular authority can update their domain names right next one is secondary names server or we can say it as slave name server this will contain a copy of primary server files okay this server has no authority to update or uh, but they can reduce the workload of the master service by sharing the queries if there is 10 queries means they will just share it within them and then they will just work there right so this will reduce the workload of the master server by sharing the queries okay and the next one is zone zone means the entire namespace is divided into many different zones okay entire namespace means it will be a large it will have a, a large namespaces right and uh, this zone will be the divided namespace parts right that uh, space is divided into many uh, zones understood it is the area up where the server has access the server can access that this zone uh, we can just define it as this is the group of contiguous domain and subdomains okay this may have domains and also subdomains if a single um, if there is a single domain in a zone then that zone and domain are same okay every zone has the server which will have a database and that is called zone file okay zone file means every zone will have a server there that server only will have the database okay using the zone file only the dns server will give the reply for that uh, um, queries which is given about the host in the zone okay in a zone there will be a host right that host will get so many queries and this replies and all will be given from this zone file only okay the zone file will have the database of the server okay there are two copies of zone files will be available master file and slave file okay master file and slave file we have seen master and slave in the mm, server types also here also master file and slave file is there right a domain is a single node of domain namespace okay zone means it is a subset of a domain namespace generally this will be stored in a file okay this domain namespace in this is a entire collection of domain subdomains and zones we'll say it as domain namespace okay domain space a namespace means it will include the entire collection of the domain subdomains and so on everything okay then the name server will manage the database of domain names and its ip address also right a server can contain more than one zone file and a zone can contain more than one subdomains also okay the next one is resolver okay resolver what is resolver Domain name system is a client application or it is a server application, right? If a host system need to map the domain name to the IP address or it has to map the IP address with the domain name, uh, what it will do according to the call or according to the work is done only, this can be solved, right? So, this process will say it is a resolver, okay? So, this uh, uh, process of the host system 
connecting with the IP address and domain name is done by the resolver. Okay, the resolver uh, will either ask the server to provide the information about the IP address, or uh, if it is not uh, available there, it will send a request to other server servers also, and somehow it will find the IP address and it will match with the uh, domain name. Okay, once that a uh, resolver receives the mapping, this will check whether the there is any error or that the resolution or the mapping is done properly uh, according to that according to the result that uh, process will be checked once and then only it will just uh, map the domain name to the ip address or map the ip address with the domain name okay the resolver means it is a program okay this is this is a program and this is responsible for starting the translation of the domain name into a IP address. Okay, so this uh, the solver is stored in the host. Okay, so there is no need of any protocol to form a connection between the resolver and the user program. It will be inside the host itself and it will be uh, translating the domain name to IP address or the IP address to domain name. Okay, let's see how this DNS works. Okay, when the user enters the URL. That URL will contain the protocol, domain name, folder name and file name, right? That will be entered in the search box of the browser, okay? In the search engine, we'll have an address bar. In that, we will be typing the URL. The system will first check it DNS catchy for the corresponding IP address, okay? If the IP address is found in that uh, catchy, then the information will be... Uh, received from that catchy itself if not the system will be sending a dns query that means the system will need a resolver to know about the ip address of this particular uh, url right so from the internet service provider that is isp this resolver uh, will get a query uh, naming uh, that it this need this url needs the ip address like that each resolver will have its own catchy and if it is found in that then the information is uh, received from that catchy itself right if not then the uh, query will be passed to the next domain right and then in the next server it will again uh, search or we will say it is a top level domain this top level domain will have the reviews and the requests and it will direct to the uh, name server associated with associated with that specific domain and it will again check whether this uh, url matches to any ip address if it is there um, it will it will then receive the ip address and uh, this client will be able to open that web page or else it the query will again will be passed to the next level of domains at last the mapping and the record are returned to the resolver uh, this resolver only will be checking whether the return value is a record or an error right then the resolver will return the record back to the computer browser then it will be viewed by the user okay so this resolver plays a main role in this dns okay in this domain name system this resolver will check whether the uh, web page the correct web page is uh, got to the got or else if there is any error it will just check it and if the correct web page is achieved it will just uh, give it to the users side servers right so that's all uh, in this chapter about dns so you have got the clear idea about domain name system right domain name system is dns right that is the process of giving a name instead of a ip address right so we have seen about domain name system ip address inside the ip address we have seen about ipv4 and ipv6 address also then we have seen about url url we all know we all are using the url to uh, s sign in or to see a video or to see a web page right so url is uniform resource locator okay in this url we had learned two types absolute url relative url if there is a complete address we'll say it is absolute url if there is a partial address, we'll say it is relative URL. Okay, and the next one is DNS components. Here we have seen about three important components. 
what are they namespace name server and zone namespace we have seen flat namespace and hierarchical namespace and then we have seen about a label domain name and the basic rules of having a domain name this is a very important one you just read it and learn it okay about this dns okay what are the basic rules of the domain names domain name may be uh, having a to is it may, may be alphabet or a number it can have hyphens also and uh, it should that hyphen should not come in the first hyphen should not come in the first and spaces are not allowed and some special symbols like exclamatory mark dollar and symbol or uh, underscore symbol are not permitted and this domain name um, will have a minimum length of 2 to 63 characters also and the entire name may be at most of 253 characters long right and it is a not it is not case sensitive so you can use upper case uh, that is capital letter or small letter or you can just mix both also and then we have seen about generic top level domain names we have seen the domain names and the meaning for that and then we have seen country top level domain names and uh, about name servers and the types of name servers a root name server primary name server secondary name server primary name server will say it is master name server also and secondary name server will say it is slave name server also and then zone about zone we have seen and then we have seen about resolver and then at last we have seen how this dns works right so we have come to the end of this chapter this is very easy and this is a very interesting chapter right this is the thing how we get a url uh, url or how we get a address and you are you have got a link and when you click that link you are uh, you are able to see this video right how this process is done through this dns only right and in the next chapter we'll be learning about network cabling and all right thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye